Let's answer na. Tapos na kayo. Are you done? Thank you. Let's answer. Okay, on na po yung cameras mo. On na. So for number one, the cutoff date refers to the date as of which transactions of the preceding accounting period are separated from those of the next. Yes, Mr. Ganya. Is it true? Is it true? Yes, it is true. Why? Kaya merong accounting period. Basically, it's either daily ang preparation or closing ng uh, accounting period. That will be the amount or the remaining amount after the closing will be carried over to the next day or next accounting period. Let's say daily. Pag closing ng store or ng shop at the end, Let's say, ang closing ay 7 p.m. Uh, ito total lahat ng amounts. And then, the last amount to that computation will be carried over para sa opening naman ng next accounting period or yung next day. Pwede yung weekly, ang closing, monthly, quarterly, yan, and um, yearly. So basically, yung cutoff date, ay yung date kung saan yung transaction ay ginagamit para sa preceding accounting period. So separate yun from those of the next. Next, number two. Anyone who wants to answer? Number two. Yes, Miss Gabby. Sabasahin ko mamun. Sige po. In accordance with the business entity concept, all transactions of a sole proprietor, business or personal, are recorded on business records. True or false? True or false? Is it true or false? So, true or false? Um, kapag ganito siya, in accordance with the business entity concept, all transactions of a sole proprietorship, business or personal, are recorded on business records. Kapag business, automatically be recorded. Kapag personal, not all personal can be recorded. I-record lang wherein kapag, let's say, a certain property lang ng, ng, ng owner ay invested into. Other than that, pag hindi in-invest, hindi i-record. Therefore, the answer for this one, I, yeah, false. Kasi hindi lahat ng personal, not all the personal belongings or properties are recorded. Dire record lang where if it is invested. Okay? If it is invested in the business. Number three. Um... Vance Parido. Okay, let's call Vance. Are you there? Are you there? Okay. Please read number three. What's your answer to number three? So aside from cash down na 200,000 pesos, si Abe Dominion owns a house and lot in a car all worth 500,000 pesos. He invests 150,000 in a car repair shop. His equity in the business must be, is it 700,000 pesos? True or false? So, isa-isahin natin. So, aside from cash down na 200,000 pesos, meaning this 200,000 pesos is already 
invested. Oh, 200,000 invested na yan. Kasi aside eh, aside from cash. Ibig sabihin, automatic, meron ng 200,000 pesos cash. Abe Dominion daw owes a hot house and lot and a car. So, 500,000 pesos yan. He invests lang 150,000 pesos in a car repair shop. So, his equity ba daw? In the business must be 700,000 pesos. It is false. Magkano lang yung total equity ng owner? 200,000 pesos plus the amount he invested na 150,000 pesos. Kung magkano lang yung in-invest ng owner, kahit marami siyang property, marami siyang lots, marami siyang vehicles, once hindi niya naman in-invest yon sa business, hindi yon counted. Yung mga properties na yon. Kung magkano lang ang invested in the business, yun lang yung total equity ng owner. Okay. So for number four, when revenue exceeds, yes, Miss Jamela, pakirid po. Sure, true po. Sige, pakirid, Miss Jamela, for number four. When revenue exceeds expenses, there is net profit. In a reverse case, there is a net loss. True okay, po. correct. True. Three is, true is the correct answer for number four. Kasi pag revenue laging mas mataas than its expenses, mayroong net profit and vice versa. Kapag ang expenses naman ang mataas, there's net loss. Next, number five. Number five, uh, let's call um, Razon. Number five. The owner's equity is positive when liabilities exceeds assets. True or false? True or false? False is the correct answer. Bakit? The owner's equity daw is positive when liabilities mas mataas eh. The liabilities exceeded the assets. Negative yan. Magne-negative ang owner's equity therefore false diba the equation asset equals liability plus owner's equity hmm. positive ito kapag mas mataas yung assets than the liabilities okay pag dineduct yan kasi dineduct dapat positive si owner's equity Ah, okay. Next, number six. Anyone who wants to answer? Number six. Try lang po. Try lang. Try. Sige, go, Mr. Ganya, number six. Nababasahin pa? Sige po, pakibasa. Obtaining a loan from a bank is an example of external event. Okay, external event ba uh, yung pag-obtain ng loan? Sure, false. Sa banko for number six. Um... True. True yan, Mr. Ganya, true. Ay, yung sure na bago na pala. <laughs> so other party, kapag may other parties involved, other than the business, external yon. <laughs> external yon. Okay, external. Kapag may other parties involved, yan. <laughs> external yon. For number seven, Miss Anna, number seven. Anna, number seven, please. Pakirin. Uh, uh. Yes. Tulog yata si Miss Anna. Ano yan? Pakibasa po. Seven. Yes. Kevin, please. Number seven, Bianca number eight. 
for purposes of preparing financial mm -hmm. statements, the life of a business is divided into accounting periods. True? Mm -hmm. Okay, correct. True. So, we need to classify kasi the financial statements depending on the period. Okay? Depending on the period. Kino-close kasi yan. Kaya ang may closing of books na tinatawag. Okay, number eight, Miss Bianca. A bookkeeper analyzes instruction from the point of point of view of the owner or other parties. Mm -hmm. True? True or false? Is it true, true? for number eight? Yes. yes. For the owner, point of view, and other... Uh, no, not other parties. No, not other parties. Point of view ng owner and business lang. False. Sorry, it's false. A bookkeeper analyzes transactions from the point of view ng owner and the business and not to other parties. Yeah. Next, number nine. Yes, Mr. Christian. Nine. Payment of salaries to employees and internal events. Sure to you. Internal events, nine. Hmm? Sure, false, sure. False, false, false. If the business lang is only um, um, there's no other parties involved, internal yun. Ayan, yung payment sa salaries is an external event. Ten. Anyone? Mr. Lance, for number ten. Last number. Sure. Number 10. Despite having a license there may be a decrease in the owners or equity if withdrawals exceed the net profit. Sure. Is it true or true? True. true. So it, it's like this. Ha? Despite having the realized a net profit, so, na-realize na daw nila na, na ang result na ay meron ng income o mer kumita ng business, meron ng net profit, there may be a decrease. Pababawasan ng owner's equity kapag merong withdrawal. Nababawasan. Di ba? Owner's equity are shares ng owner. So, kapag merong mga withdrawals in the business o so yung owner nag-withdraw in, in the business, merong decrease. Mababawasan yung owner's equity. If it exceeds the net profit. Yan. True for number 10. Sige po, pakicount. Ang number of correct answers and then pakicent. Ay, dito na lang sa chat box para hindi na tayo mag double pa. Nang Wait lang po.
Okay, so your second summative test will be on Monday. Monday na. The coverage is the whole lesson two. Whole lesson two. How about the others? Wala pang score. Sino pang hindi nag-submit ng scores? Isan na po. Do you have any questions? Question ba regarding lesson? Um, test I... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's on genuine. Ayan, class. May question ba regarding this? So, basically, again, when we say kaya pa? Ano na kaya? Yes, Ms. Jamela? Sure, ano po coverage na exam? <laughs> Yan lang, lesson 2. Lesson 2 only. I-upload ko na lang ulit sa LARC para makita niyo ulit. Upload sa LARC and sa Genia. Upload ko ulit. Pero same lang yun, nandun din yun. Pero to those who uh, nag-expired na and na-overlap na ng ibang lessons para hindi na mag-back with i-resend uh, ko na lang. Okay. 